Hello Crustacean Nation. Here we are again with another road trip. So today we're not going to go see the crawdads. I know, weird. But it is Ethan's birthday. So everybody say hey to Ethan. Hey Hello. Ethan. You'll know me from the other channel. Yep. Yeah. Uh, it's Ethan's birthday today and the Greenville Drive is going to play the uh, Rome Braves and Ethan's a big Braves fan. He has yeah, no taste lie. other than the crawdads. And then this guy here, that's my friend Scott Prince. And he is a Red Sox fan. I mean, oh, Sox. I'm sorry, Red Sox. So he's going to be pulling for the drive probably. And I'm just going to be neutral. Hey, Ethan. Yeah. Come here, tell everybody uh, what channel you're from. I'm uh, from the Dirty Balls podcast. Uh, we do podcasts, obviously. Uh, some rain delay stuff. And I do some vlogs every now and then at parks. But, you know, we're mainly about the podcasting. Well, tell, it, tell everybody where they can find you. They can find us at Dirty Balls Podcast here on YouTube, at Dirty Balls Pod on uh, Twitter. We don't have an Instagram yet because, you know, they're old. They don't care about Instagram. So, uh, yeah, we uh, it's the first ever crossover video for Jeremy's new channel and the podcast you all know and love. Which makes us the, the Dirty Bells Dirty Network. Bells right Network. Making oh, history today. All right, making history. And now it's time Scott to get this show too. on the road. That's right. All right, here we are at Carolina Ale House. Never Can't, been to one of these before. Nope. I've never even heard of one before. I think yep. this is where they do the cool bars for the hurricanes. Carolina yeah. Ale House. We'll find out, maybe. It might be, but it is South Carolina. Yeah. I mean, there's like several of them around the area. There's like one in Charlotte, one in Raleigh. In I don't know. States. They probably don't do the cool bars here, but I've heard, I've heard about it before. Well, you might have something in there. We'll find out. Well, we'll let you know how it is. There's going to be food and drinks, food and, beer. and I'll enjoy it. All right, it's like a pretty nice place. You got lots of, lots of TVs. Definitely tell we're in South Carolina. <laughs> lots of Clemson and Gamecocks gear everywhere. Lots of taps. We've got USA versus France, women's soccer on TV. Fairly large crowd of people here pulling for the USA. Okay, here we are at the Shoeless Joe Jackson House, which is just right outside the stadium here. Uh, just a quick walk across the street. I'll read this for you really quick. So this house built in 1940 was originally three miles southwest at 119th East Wilburn Avenue. It was the last home of Joseph Jefferson Wolford Shoeless Joe Jackson, who lived born in 1888, died in 1951. One of the greatest natural hitters in the history of baseball. Jackson, born in Pickens County, moved to Greenville as a boy. He worked at the Brandon Mill joined the mill baseball team as a teenager and was a star long before he made the major leagues in 1908 continued on the other side oh, here we go. all right let's see what we've got all right it says in 1911 it's kind of dark on here so i'll finish reading it that his first full season jackson batted 408 he played for the philadelphia a's from 1908 to 1910 the Cleveland Naps from 1910 to 1915, Chicago White Sox from 1915 to 1920. The lifetime average of 356. He helped the White Sox win the 1917 World Series. Isn't that the one they were famous for? Yeah, yep, cool. for eight men out. But he and seven teammates were banned from baseball for fixing the 1919 series. See, I didn't read ahead or else I wouldn't have asked that. This house where Jack's where Jackson died in 1951 was moved here in 2006 and opened as a museum in 2008. And I have heard that they're planning to move it again to build some apartment buildings right here across from the stadium. How do you move a whole house? Very carefully. It can be done. It can be done. People do that. All right, well, let's go see if it's open. Entrance in rear. Entrance in rear. That's, That's what she fun. said. Yeah. All right, here we go. We're going around the, around the back to see. You're going to go with us. Go check out the rear. We got some footsteps in the concrete see here. It's a nice yeah. rear. <laughs> I'll see Bench. what we got around here. We've got those. 
Cool picture. God knows I gave my best in baseball at all times, and no man on earth can truthfully judge me otherwise. No public restrooms. So you're not you're not gonna go to the bathroom in Joe's house. No. no. Joe said take that down the street. I can't the ballpark. All right, here's some more reading material. Yep. It's locked. Dude, it's I'm... locked. Oh well, we tried. Temporarily closed as we prepare for the move of our museum building sense. for the second time. Yep, makes sense. All right, well, I guess we'll try some other time. I have to wait till it's moved, I guess. Yeah, it says keep checking for our opening date. Well, we tried. Maybe next time. Yep. All right, well, let's go see the ball game. Okay, so here we are in Floor Field. As you can see behind me, we have railroad tracks go right outside the stadium and whenever a train comes by you can see it over, just over the outfield wall and over here you can see the, the outfield right now the score is two to one Greenville we're in the second inning this is a if you've never been here is a beautiful stadium one of the nicest stadiums in the South Atlantic League one of the nicest stadiums I've ever been to um, now we'll start our our tour. Okay, as you can see, it's a pretty good crowd here. They support the team very well here in Greenville. It's an absolutely beautiful field. And over here to my left, you can see the 500 Club over here behind the, the Paladins picnic area. See the 500 Club? That's named for the 500 Home Run Club. Um, a, you can see over here we they have an upper deck on the above the stands. Uh, that's your your suites and you know, your your money. <laughs> and out there, in right field, you can see their replica of the Green Monster. I don't know how well you can see it here with the sun in the way of the camera, but I'll get around there and you'll be able to see it then. Over here on the just outside the stadium, you can see where we were earlier. You can see the Shoeless Joe house. They're, like I told you earlier, they're getting ready to move that. Uh, you won't really be able to go in to see it until next season when it'll be a few hundred yards down the road. But today we actually wound up getting our own private tour. Also, you can see here in Greenville, they have uh, multiple uh, merchandise stands, which you know is always smart. You got to make money somehow, right? Can't do it all with ticket sales. You got the you got the Chick Fil A cow here, getting down. You can see, they draw a crowd. <laughs> yeah, sure. Hi. Hello, what's your name? My name's Chase. All right, do you live here in Greenville? Yes, sir. Are you a big drive fan? Eh, kind of. <laughs> kind of? Well, what brings you to the game tonight? Um, well, we basically just got uh, JR the auto automation. Have you heard of that company? I have. Yeah, we were invited here by them. Awesome. Just did research. Cool. Well, it's nice to meet you. My name's Jeremy. Nice to meet you. Right, Conrad's Cowbells is the YouTube channel. Okay. <laughs> All right. Kid wanted to be in the video, so hey, why not? We've had a great time here tonight, uh, and it's only the second inning, but we have met some very nice people. Everyone here seems to be very hospitable. Here's another another cow out here messing around with people, having a good time. Uh, they have quite the concessions here. They actually have a Chick-fil-A restaurant inside the stadium. Uh, Imagine it's probably not open for Sunday games, though, but that's all right. There you can see the green monster a little better. Zoom in here. It's actually, I think, seven feet shorter than the actual green monster. Uh, the stadium here is as close to a replica of Fenway as you'll see, uh, which I think is very smart. You get players used to playing in this this stadium and then when they get up to Fenway it's not so much of a jump for them. And here you can see they have a barbecue restaurant here or a barbecue stand. 
I highly recommend the brisket sandwich when you come here. I had that last time. It was very good. Um, they have the Carrera Cantina and Subway. Of course, Subway is pretty much the same wherever you get it. So if you're looking for something that's out, not out of the ordinary, Subway's got you covered. See tonight it's Greenville against the Rome Braves. And just in case you're wondering, yes, we did just pass section 108. And here we have more concessions, splendid splendors. You know, got your average fare. Then, here shortly, we're coming up on the real food gym of the ballpark, which will be Sweet Caroline. If you like ice cream, do yourself a favor. You come on out here to Sweet Caroline's so when you come to the ballpark. See so here is it's not really quite a merchandise stand, it's more of a mini store. They a little zoomed in there for you, but they have this store inside the stadium. And outside the stadium they have a larger store. Uh, they have some very nice merchandise. The only bad thing is it's mostly uh, Red Sox and Greenville Drive. But hey, not everybody's perfect, right? Like I said, over here is Sweet Caroline's. That is the best, best ice cream that I've ever had at a ballpark. Well, that's too dark. It's not going to focus on it. Maybe we can go around to the other side. Yeah, there it is. You can see it in the sun there, Sweet Caroline's. You see the gentleman here making fresh waffle cones. And one thing that parents will like about this ballpark is they have a play area, but not only that, but it is protected from foul balls. Oops, excuse me, sorry. So you can bring the kiddos over here to play in the, in the uh, fearless play area. The live fearless play area, and they can be fearless from getting hit by foul balls. That's pretty thoughtful and pretty awesome. Uh, you can see here they have more picnic tables. This is the general admission seating area. Not, not a bad deal here. They got a hill here that seems to be a rather popular spot. All right, Greenville, we're running out here to right field to have a shoe scramble challenge. Running out here with us, we got our friends from Five Great People. Well, we got some fun little kids out here. That's What's it for the tour of the uh, Greenville Drive floor field at West right End. Um, if you get a chance to come down here and see a ball game, I highly recommend it. Why can I not get away from this stupid song? I hate this song. Please, dear Lord, make it stop. the night da, 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 da. and it, it don't seem so lonely we fill it up with only two how many two. Two. two i don't know the next one <laughs> i hurt da, 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 da. hurting runs off my shoulder and i hurt when you 
One. Touching one. Touch. Put the camera on me, it's going to be great. Reach it out. Touching me. Touching you. Sweet, Sweet Caroline. Ba, ba, ba. Good times never seem so good. So good. So good. So good. I'm inclined. Ba, ba, ba. Never would. But now I. Caroline, ba ba ba, times never seem so good. So good, so good, so good. Caroline, ba ba ba. Hey Tim, I hope you're watching. Everybody here loves this song. <laughs> this is just for you, Tim. Ba ba ba. Make sure to send it to him. <laughs> Okay, so for those of you who just saw me singing Sweet Caroline and are wondering, uh, why does Ethan, the illustrious, handsome, and talented host of the Dirty Balls podcast, have a Polynesian sauce stain on his shorts? Well, that is simply because I didn't realize that I was holding it sideways when I opened it. So, it's smart. A Public service announcement to all those Dirty Bells fans out there. Make sure you're holding your sauces upright when you open them. Public service announcement. Saving shorts everywhere. <laughs> I love this song. Rome wins it four to three. That makes Ethan happy. Ethan got him a win tonight. Makes Scott a little sad. Now what I would like to say here is that the Rome Braves, I will pull for them against any team except for the Crawdads. The fact that I'm a Braves fan and the fact that this is a Braves affiliate does not mean that they override the Crawdads. I hate those kind of fans and I've talked about that on the podcast before. It goes Crawdads, Rome Braves, Asheville. So there we go on that one. I must agree. I don't pull for for Charleston River Dogs when they come to town. Especially not Anthony Siegler. Yeah, Anthony Lee Siegler can buy it. Except Gary. Oh, Gary He's loves Canapolis. He's a loves Canapolis. Loves <laughs> Canapolis. Can't get enough of Canapolis. I had it You know Gary's a subscriber, right? He's a huge Canapolis fan, too. <laughs> he is. He can't wait until the next time he goes to Canapolis. <laughs> Hey, Jeremy, get that, get that. <laughs> also, I'll say this. Well, I'm going to say this. Uh, Justin Dean. I know it's... Whoa, you're really huge. That's the first time anyone said that. Justin <laughs> Dean. Probably the last. Everybody's... <laughs> Alan's favorite grown brave, Justin Dean, had a good night tonight. That's a good prospect. I remember seeing Austin Riley when he played against Hickory and thinking he was a good prospect. Justin Dean, you're right up there. You're a great prospect. The Braves are loaded with good prospects. It's kind of scary. All right, we're just here now waiting for the fireworks. Which we will film a little bit of. A little, not much. Not it gets kind of boring when you're just watching it on yeah. video. You gotta live but in the moment a little bit. That's right. Speaking of the moment, this moment's over. That's close. It's really close.
Well, that was a fun road trip. Uh, Ethan, did you have, have fun on your birthday road trip? Uh, yeah, I did. We got a good dinner, good game, good fireworks. I bought a hat. It's uh, Fenway Park, the old Sitco sign there. So, had a good time. I had to take off the Braves jersey because it felt weird wearing a Fenway hat and Braves jersey. But all in all, everything we saw our friend and uh, our usher got, friend. We took a really yep. cool, really cool tour of the Joe Jackson house. Yeah, that was amazing. Yeah, that might have been. As, as you saw earlier, we actually went up to the the house to try to go in, and it was closed because they're getting ready to move the house. Until it wasn't. Yeah, yeah. until it wasn't. Ethan went up to the door, jiggled the handle, and that's where we turned off the video. Well, right after we turned it off, the door opens, and they're like, they're like, hey, y'all want to come in and tour the house? Yeah. It, Sure. I wanted to film so you guys could see it, but they wouldn't let us film, or they asked us not to. They didn't say we couldn't. And they were but, renovating because they were about yeah. to move the house again. Yeah, so, I mean, that was that was really it's awesome. A lot of cool stuff in there. And I didn't realize that Joe Jackson was such a big guy. No. Oh, his bat. His yeah. hands were massive. Yeah, that bat was like a daggum tree trunk. Um, I had no idea. What, what did you like about the about the museum. I uh, just realized there's probably some some uh, weird dripping noises going on in the background in this video. There's a yeah a drain over there. But yeah, Scott, what do you like about it? Oh man, what wasn't there to like? I mean, I guess it's all the cool memorabilia they had from his playing days. You know, I like that the kitchen was entirely original. That yeah, was that, was, that was pretty cool. Yeah, with, yeah, with the old appliances with that yeah, really the, thick cord. Yeah. Yeah, like cord like what my grandmother used to have. What was that thing beside it? Like yeah. a little toaster? Yeah, something? it was a toaster. That's what I was thinking it was. Tiny uh, house for a big guy. Yeah. yeah. I would say he moved around in that thing. Like, like this. Yeah, exactly. Squatting down. Real low. Very careful. Uh, one thing I thought was cool was that old, old style baseball. Yeah. 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 Well, it was, From before they wore gloves. Yeah. Because, you know, back in the 1800s, they didn't wear gloves in baseball. And you could catch the ball on the bounce and it would still be an out. That was pretty amazing. Uh, the fireworks were were amazing. awesome. Uh, they, were, you know, I didn't I didn't film the end. Um, I showed it on Facebook, so if you go over there and and watch my video on that, you'll see that. But you can't film an entire fireworks show. It's, no, yeah, it'd, it'd be a too long of a video. In the moment for that one. But it was but, their July Fourth show, since they're going to be out of town. Yeah, it's their fireworks town. The a nice long one. So it was, was very good. A lot of colors and variety. Yes, and, a lot of and booms. A lot of booms. And I'm sure you hear in the background, somebody's getting ready to wash their car at 1 in the morning. That's a prime car washing time. Oh, it is. It is, especially when it's probably going to rain here in a little bit. Oh, hell yeah. So, well, ready again. all in all, fun road trip. Yes. Braves picked up a win. Yep. New hat. And and new restaurant we didn't eat at before. Got to see uh, a Red Sox team lose. So, <laughs> all right. Uh... Check me out at uh, Conrad's Cowbells on Twitter. Ethan, what about you? Where can I find you? Uh, Dirty Balls Podcast on YouTube, Dirty Balls Pod on uh, in on Twitter. You can follow me on Instagram or Twitter if you want to. Just search my name up, uh, Ethan Benfield on Instagram, Ethan Benfield 3 on Twitter, 3 for Dale, and uh, Ethan Benfield 3 on my Snapchat. But if you're watching this video, you already know me. What about you, Scott? You got I'm, any? I'm just on Facebook. That's just on it. Facebook. So. Well, all right, guys. Till next time, abide by the flaw.